Gemara. Today's daf is daf chaf. So we learned the din of Shmuel, who said that if you leave something in the window, it reduces the the, the, the cavity of the window so that it's a mace, a corpse inside the house. We don't say that the the, the tomb of the corpse will leave through that tefach, the opening of a tefach going to the next house that's adjacent to it. However, if it's an item, so if you put something in the window, it blocks it and it no longer allows the tomb to pass. But if it's something that you're going to remove eventually, if you're going to remove it, then it's as if it's not there already. Now, generally, things but also, if it's something that is mechabal tumma, if it's something that in itself can become tummy, then obviously it cannot intercept the tumma. So food becomes tummy, people become tummy, garments become tummy, and utensils become tummy. Not everything becomes tummy. So the, now we're up to, we can ask a question on Shmuel's din. That anything that can be moved, that will be moved, even though it's there right now, is not blocking it. It's not intercepting the tumma. So that's a question. Mesha, that's a question. I saw in grass, the children that you could cut off, and you place it on a window, which will hide something you eventually remove. Or you should all the grew there on its own, or matloini. So we have the little pieces, strips of garment, chain, behem, shalosh, al shalosh. When it comes to the laws of tumba, we say that the minimum size generally is three fingers by three fingers to be makabal tumba, because then it's a row. At, anything less than that is not even suitable for a poor person, as we had in the Gemara a few times. The ha'eber, the ha'basar, or limb, these different examples. A limb or a piece of flesh, hamidul dolin, that is hanging, that is sort of partly severed from the animal, from a live animal, but um, but it's still connected. The behema u'bechayev o'ev sheshachin b'chalayin, and it's resting there on the window. So while it's there, it's blocking the tumor from passing out. Or o'evet v'chadim sheyesh b'chalayin, or a goy, sitting by the window, as well, blocks the tumma because a goy does not become tummy. Uben Shemoina, we have in our Gemara that an eight month old child does not, as Rashi says over here, loy chayv loy mace. It's not considered alive, it's dead. Yeah. So, and, and then we say that, the, but it's only if the child's slightly deformed, that the child is for, or formed just a bit small, we say it's really a seven month baby that's delayed. Uben Shemoina, or an eight month old baby, that's we fact, in fact, it's Muktan Shabbos. And you, you place it on the window, these all it's separate to me. A melech sol, kecheres, and kalim, the safer toida, and the safer toida, kulam and maitim bechalem. And we go through each one, because each one of them you're going to remove. And Shmuel says that even though you, that if you're going to remove it, it does not intercept the tumus. So what's going on? We'll go through each case. But the vision says, I'm going to show you the snow, and hail, and galid, and different kinds of ice. Um, water, None of those reduce um, the, the the size of the window because they all melt. Now let's go through each one. So in grass, so eventually you can take it away because you want to feed it to your animal. So why does it, according to Shmuel, why does it intercept the tumor? And for the Gemara, we're talking about over here, Bafrasta. We're talking about over here that it's a, a kind of a poison, some kind of a herb or something that is poisonous for animals and you'll never give it to animals. Okay, next case, so you know, you'll leave it there. Aisha Olu, Malayan grew there on its own. The Chayda keeping the Kosher, the Kosher, if it's growing there, it's bad for it, will harm the wall. Then Shakul, eventually, you're going to remove it because it's harming your wall. And yet, it says it intercepts a tumor. Amarabah, the Kosher, the Kosher, the Kosher, the Kosher, you don't care if it gets ruined because it's a Kosher, it's a dilapidated wall. Now, Papa says, the Kosher, the Kosher, the ordinary wall, we're talking about the boy and Chutz, the It's not that it's actually grow, growing on the wall itself, it's growing elsewhere. And then a few of the, the branches, Protrude and 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 go to the window, and that's not going to ruin the wall. So you're not going to remove it. Okay, matloni is this little garment. You can use it for a lot, for a patch. The levusha you can use it for a patch, so you will take it away. As you might have it's quite thick, and therefore you won't use it as a patch. It's suitable for an umna, and generally when it says umna, Rashi always tries to say umna to be a makiz dog. Not always, because Sanhedrin and the end of the first page, he touches and means they're a moil. But generally, an umna is a makiz dog, a bloodletter, kind of a doctor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So to my bariska, uh, it's like leather, it's leather, so it's very, sh- it's very, um, it's jagged and it's going to cut into you. Not going to use that as a band-aid. So why is the criteria three by three? We know that depending on the material, sack and all that, each material has a different amount. Amount, and by a sack, it's four. It's four fingers, not three fingers. So as the chayda, so why does it say she ain't behind shalosh al shalosh? She should have said she ain't behind arbo al arbo. 
goes out four by four. So you want to boil it, but ain't boil. That's what should have said. As you want to can you just no? It's not material. It's not leather. It's ordinary, it's ordinary material, but it has a little sharpness to it, like this can. Therefore, three by three, but you won't use it. Okay. The animal eventually is going to walk away or run away. But also move on. It's not going to be there forever. So how come it's in the separate tumor? It says you want to make sure that the animal is tied down. But the animal is not a kosher animal, so why would you shecht? Mazman not to go, but kosher such a weak animal, nobody's going to buy this animal. It's so lean. Posse, uh, you'll cut off this uh, the, this uh, limb that's uh, suspended, and Shadu can give it to the dog. So that limb will be taken away from the window. So he said, because it's Tzabalachayim cutting off that limb, of it. you don't do Tzabalachayim for not. Even though you like shecht an animal that's eating, but that's not for not. Here it's for not, and for not, you now do Tzabalachayim. We had an end of the third, in the, in the Elam, it says that Tzabalachayim is an Isa, with Rabban. So the Gemara, Eva Oif, uh, says there that what a bird is resting on the window, but part of the muscle eventually will fly away, and yet in the sepsis tumor, the car should tie down. Certain species of bird that nobody eats because it's so lean and everything, nothing to eat there. You'll give it to a kid. This thing has claws and it's going to, you know, scratch you. So you don't give it to kids. So you want to that particular species of bird is like misarit, it doesn't scratch. It's not a kalnisa, but it's like a kalnisa that it has no value. Nobody wants it. <clears throat> Nobody wants it. Um, there's a whole discussion in sukkah we had if an animal could be a mamer and a behuda, if an animal could be a mechitza for a sukkah. And, uh, and over here, sorry? Exactly. If, if, even then, we had, and we had a machlek is what's the reason why you can have? Is it because uh, it'll walk away or is it because... Um, It'll it'll die or whatever and whatever. So Taysim must make a distinction between a mechitza. We need a certain height of mechitza. The may also be just blocking a window when it doesn't equate everybody. It's going to be the same thing. Okay. Um, Taysim and all the shame ask a question. We said before you'll suspend the limb, uh, but, but, but maybe you'll sell uh, you'll sell the whole animal. So so, so, so sorry. So, yeah. So Taysim says so. Um, the mother asked the question, then you'll cut it off and give it to the dog. So we answered that you don't do it. So maybe you throw the whole dog out. So you can't do anything with the whole animal. You'll throw the entire animal out to the dogs. So the other Rishonim say, it's not shkiach, you'll do that and so on. But Teisha says, we're talking about a monkey here. And the reason why you put it in the window is because it jumped, it, it, it uh, entertains people. So you're not going to throw it to the dogs. So the, the monkey has a suspended limb there on the window and you kept the monkey there because it's going to entertain everybody. Okay. Great. Like a zoo. Well, you saw people walking with real monkeys. Oh, not here in Australia, but yeah. in Africa. So they said, yeah. Okay, continue. It says the Gemara. A guy sitting in a window. Okay, a guy's not become a tube, but come also to walk away. The cup was he's tied down. As a chavre, I come along his friend and shot away. The guy has friends and a long time. The mitzayda, this guy is a mitzayda. Nobody wants to be close to him. I see mitzayda chavri shodling. A guy, um, a mitzayda, a fellow mitzayda will come and untie him. So there's no guarantee. According to Shmuel, he's going to walk away eventually. El bechavushim malcha. The king tied him up and put him there. In the Gemara Sukkah, right in the beginning, there's a whole thing there about heaven and your mavatlet, whether it can be considered to reduce the size, um, like it's bottle of the ground and 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 uh, it's part of the ground and and you can reduce the size of the sukkah. And we said that only Tevet ain't osir lefanoi. So in the Zmachlek is showing that how long do we, when we say ain't osir lefanoi, you're not going to clear it. How long are we talking about? We think about some of these things here. I didn't say anyone talk about it, but none of, even those things you leave for a while, it's not going to stay there permanently. You know, eventually the animal's going to die, or you leave it sitting in the window still. They'll smell the place up. You'll eventually take it away. Some of these things eventually, even the king will lock somebody up there for how long? Forever. Eventually, it'll go away. So how, what's the man, what term is this? We say, okay, this is, this will block the tumor because it's going to be there for, for, for what? Forever, for a long time. And what's together for a long time? By sukkah, we talk about seven days. You know, it's outlast the, the, the midst of sukkah. But here, what is it? And I don't know what the criteria is. Anyone continues further. 
Ben Shmoin Hamona Bechaloin, Asi Imei's mother come and die, they will take it away. So we answered Bishabbos since Mukta, but now at the time we learned Ben Shmoin and Ke Evans are strong, but also the Talk of Shabbos. In other words, it's it's going to be Mukta. And Chase said, we're talking about a case here where the child is dying. And therefore, because the child is dying, and it's going to die right in the beginning of Shabbos. <clears throat> And and therefore the child is going to remain buried in that place. I will emo shaykh all of but the mother can bend down and nurse this baby mipnei ha sakana. Call it sakana. Who sakana exactly? So most of Shane learn it's a sakana of the mother. She needs to allow to express her milk to express her milk. But some of the Shane that I met and a couple of others say they learn it's the sakana of the child. Now the khaira wouldn't be sakana of the child, but you just said the child is definitely gonna die. He's definitely gonna die. So the so the Rame use the lotion, Chaisha. We do know that in the hilchos of a koach nefesh, you know, if you can save somebody for an hour, you know, there's an Indian of saving for an hour. And it depends, remember the different reasons we had why you can do koach nefesh. Because if it's mechal shabbos achas, kadesh yishor shabbos harbor, then maybe chay, then chay yishor doesn't work. Because it's not going to live to the next shabbos. It's only a question of living a few more hours here. But if the other reasons we have it, chay, then whatever, then it's different. But over here, chay yishor is literally chay yishor. Because the child definitely is going to, is, is not even considered a living thing. Loichai, actually, interesting expression. It's not alive, it's not dead. While it's alive, it's not alive, nor is it dead. So, therefore, the most of it is the mother's psychotic. The Gemara continues further. Melach salt, chazele, bimirita, lochaira is, sorry, chazele, salt. You'll take it away, you'll use the salt. It has to be it's bitter, you won't use this kind of salt. No, chazele, you use salt for tanning. These big clay are thorns in there. And uh, kiva, the cash, the kaisa shakli. So if the if salt, it, it eats into the rocks and everything else, or the cement, it will be bad for the wall. You'll eventually take it. The yashba chasba, sitting on a clay, on top of above clay. So therefore, it's not really directly on the wall. Chasba gufa teichetz. What about the wall? So if, if you already have a chasba there, then who cares about the salt? Then, then this clay, yeah, this clay, shah, whatever it is, that is a, a tray should block or intercept the tumor. So he answered Lesbos Yudah. We're talking about a chasper in itself that is so small. What do you mean so small? Because now we learned that they used to place chedas, a clay, a piece of clay, um, that they used to have, um, they used to make a frame, two wooden frames, vertical frames, and then they would put the chedas on the top and the bottom, you know, to hold the frames in place. Very thin chedas, so that doesn't really reduce the, the the cavity in the window. So the clay had a Shabbos and gave it the Shir of Shabbos. Yes, exactly. That's why the Shir of Shabbos, yeah. So because, um, is, but the idea over here is that because it's so thin, it doesn't really reduce the size of the of the thing. It's the salt. But you won't use this particular salt. Yeah, because on Shabbos, we, we learned already in Amatsni that, that you have Shirim for everything. Everything that you're not like carrying Shabbos, it has to be something of significance, that it has some, so that you can do something with it. And then we'll learn more that for each item, different shear, including for clay. Um, the Gemara says, okay, clay chedes, the next thing in the price is clay chedes, right? Clay uh, clay vessels, new chazale, if you can use it. The mitnev, it's all filthy, dirty, you won't use it at all. So the Gemara about chazale umna, you can use it for this umna, for this uh, blood letter, he puts the blood in there. The menaka, it's a cavity full of holes. So now Shmuel is going to learn each particular case in a way where you're never going to use it because it's useless. It's almost okay to use it. Exactly. <laughs> safe for Tata, safe for Tata. What do you mean leave a safe for Tata? Fazil and Mikra, you can use it to learn with or to read. The bowl is all rotten and fading away. But by you can use it. In that case, you have to treat it with covered and then and, and be going with it. Sham Tag, it is also, you can be going with it right there. You don't have to bury it under the ground. So look at here. You don't have to bury it on the ground. You can be going with it anywhere you want as long as it's in a respectful way. Again, you imagine that now the Torah itself. Oh, it's interesting. The Rambam, the Gemara brachas we had that about regarding a a, a, a leader or a person who's a zav, if he's allowed to learn Torah, because we said that Abuna said that Torah is even ages not mekabel, that even ages not mekabel tumah, and therefore, but then the Rambam goes further. They say the Torah is not mekabel tumah, and the Mefarshim they try to work out where does the Rambam get that from. The Gemara there is talking about the person who learned. Even though he's tummy can learn trade, he could do it trade. I'm a couple, you know, they do it. I'm a couple to a lot of water to age. But um, what about the person, the trade itself? So, um, I can't remember who wants to say that the mocker is right here because if something is macabre tumor, it no longer blocks tumor. And you're telling me that a safer trade can intercept the tumor, must be that safer trade itself is not macabre tumor. This is the mocker for that thing. <clears throat> 
So it's interesting how we think it's brachas, and in fact, part of it, one word of it, comes from Baba Basra. Didn't we make the exact rabbanim that the story of the two of the rabbanim? That's what I'm talking about. Shammai there. That's Shammai there. That's Shammai there. Who brought the youth has said this. It's not something else. Um, the Rambam writes, one of his regrets in his letter, he writes that his regret is that he never wrote Marim Akaimis for his dinner. And he writes it that he wants, uh, he, he something he grows something, I can't remember which halach it is. And the uh, Chachim Elunil asked him, where is this? Because they learned, you know, through Shas, they couldn't find it. He told them it's in, I think, Sanhedrin. Wrote back to him a few months later, went to the whole Sanhedrin, you know, well, can't find it. So one of the Babas. And then he went to each one of the Babas, Marcus, Sanhedrin, couldn't find it. At the end, the Raman wrote to them, it's in Yavamas. The Gemara asks her a question, and the Gemara gives an answer, and that's from that answer I got it. And then he writes, he regrets that he didn't put Marim Akainis down on all of his things. But like here, the perfect example. He goes further. Um, says, uh, sorry. Uh, you can make mechitza anything you want. It's don't use salt and don't use fats. Which is fast because it disintegrates. And don't use salt. The salt will do the bill scatter. What's going on? I'm papa. Let please is an argument. Talk about different kinds of salt. Hob and Melach's Dame is a thick salt that we learned about in the Chulim. Melach's Dame is. And Hob, therefore, that's, sta- that's stable and that blocks the tumor. Hob and Melach is straight. It's not a different kind of salt. It's like powder salt. It just flies away. We're not powder, a little bit, a small pieces, but it's not it's not stable. The hash of Rabba Oisod is Nate Sibudi Melach. A person can make two pillars of salt when you have a mother and you have to have a, a coin on top. So you have two leches and a coin on top. Like, like you know, to hold, to um, to show that it's uh, separated from the, from the, to Sarabim, <laughs> the heck and all that. So then he says that you can put two pillars of salt, the pillars will hold up the beam, but the beam holds up, the, holds down the salt. Is that filling melech is straight in melech is straight? So it can't really be a powder, it's something it's more than a powder, but it's not like melech is doing a big piece of salt. Is a and like pliggy, how do you cut it like there's a beam there holding a place, then that's all right, then it blocks the salt. There's no beam, it doesn't. How do you actually have a beam in a little cavity? It's so for maybe a little you put so you put the salt, they put something heavy sitting on top of that salt that it shouldn't move. Now the last thing in the pre- the last two things in the previous mission about the rechaim, your distance from the wall. Um, three, because the base is wider than the the tapers in, so three from the bottom, which is four from the top of the mill, uh, from, the, from the top millstone. My time the wine is from tiraya because the, the the earth shudders when you move the tiraya. Hotani rechamoy a donkey shloisha minos trubil shen abom in a keli by a donkey is three from the Bottom and four from the top. And located by donkey, where is there the, the earth shattering? color. It rather it is, it's because of the noise. Now, what exactly is chamoy? It's it only makes a lot of noise. What exactly is chamoy? The Rashi and chamoy is literally a donkey. The Rishayim have a hard time. How can a donkey fit into a three trochim gap between the, the base? A donkey is wider than three trochim. So they learn chamoy and don't do the donkey. The chamoy is 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 a you have a rechaim shulyad, a hand, portable one, and it sits in the house. The housing is called the chamoy of that because it carries the sun. It's like exactly. It's a it's a euphemism, and therefore that is it doesn't um, it doesn't take up so much room. It's much smaller, and that's what we're talking about over here. There's a tanur an oven. Shloishim and a kilish and a bam and a sofa. Three from the bottom, which is four from the top. Amar Rabbi Shmuel, Rabbi Nochum, make kilish a tanur tevach. That what it goes in uh, the the top part of the oven because it tapers in. It's like a cone is narrower than the bottom and it goes in by a tevach. Now, for me, make a memcha when you purchase it, you know what you get. Mishnah. We we already had it before. La yami don't tell the rabbi you should place an oven inside your house. El can you shal gabav unless you have a bavik goyva arba amos. You have a distance a gap of four amos between that and the ceiling. Because the heat is a generous. What happened? You place it upstairs. So you talk to them. You an oven. You have to make sure you, there's a floor there. That is three trochim thick. You know, plaster three trochim so that it can retain the heat. Or the smoke, according to Rashi. Teresa said before, it's the heat. But a stove, which is far less hot. A tefah, a, a, a floor that's the tefah thick is enough. But even if you follow these guidelines, if at the end of the day you cause damage, either to upstairs or to downstairs, you got to pay for the damage. Shimon says, Why do you have to do all these rules? To give a person rules and he follows the rules, why should he pay? The Chacham argued, they say, the fact is you are mazik, you know, the mood 
even if you did all the right things. So the halach is like a chamin. Then we learned the yifta. We had it before as well. The yifta Don't open a bakery uh, oven of a baker which is very very hot and it's on twenty four seven. used by dyers. Tachas underneath the upstairs, which is the of your friend. Nor should you make it your house downstairs. Refes boker bemis bemis. Truthfully, but beyain it too. By wine they were Again, the problem of chanush on the downstairs according to Rashi is smoke. And Tracy says, if you have a ceiling, why would it be smoke? It's rather the heat. And, and the Lefes Bucker is a stench from the cattle downstairs. But if you have wine upstairs, we allow the, the, we allow the heat. Either the Kondarashi is the smoke that's upstairs, going upstairs, and the Kondarashi is the heat. The heat. Rabbein Tam asks, if it's the smoke, we know that Yayin, that Yayin Mu'ushin, you, you cannot use for the Sachim because it ruins the wine. How can you say over here that uh, that if you have uh, that um, that wine, you're allowed to? What do you mean? But you're ruining it with the smoke. So therefore, says it's heat, and heat for wine doesn't ruin. It. Even though we know the pasteurizing wine does reduce it a little bit, but not as bad as motion. The first one she said, that's for the ceiling. Um, the scene of the gap of the ceiling, and um, true. But before we had that. Um, that's only four amas. But what uh, we're also worried about if. But the other shame, the friend Rashi, they say that uh, nothing to do with the quality of the wine by the sock, it has to be in its natural form. Just like Yaim Abushal, according to some of the shame, you cannot use for Yaim Sok. It doesn't mean that it's not, bad, not, not good wine, it's because since you, you change it from its original form, you cannot use it for the sock. The same thing with Yaim Abushal. <clears throat> uh, anyway, so else we learn different measures. By an oven, you need four tvachim a floor, and kilo three tvachim. But it depends. That's talking about a much hotter oven, of a baker's oven that's constantly. Their oven needs four tvachim, and their stove needs three tvachim. The tanur did done kikilo the nachtumin. Our oven that are not on all the time, that's not so hot, are equal to the stoves. Of a nachtum, so therefore we have three tochim. Lo yif to chanus. Tanu learned im hayir refes kedem is loitzer, but if the refes was there before the oitzer, if you built your car, you know your downstairs as a refes before the guy upstairs decided to use it for his warehousing, but it permitted, and you don't have to take it um, uh, take it away afterwards. And we learned before already because deal is shiny. Is that even according to a to rubber that says that you know that you're not allowed to put put, put something up to the boundary, even though the, the nizik is not there. So how come they allowed to? Because in your house you have more rights than that in your chatzit. It's, 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 it's a house. It's the same as dealer as a dealer. Yeah, but your downstairs is, is your dealer, and you turned it into a, a um what do you call it? In, into a refus bucker. We still call it a dealer because indoor, indoors. Oh, in your house you did it. You make a in your in your, in your own dealer you just turn it. Imagine turning your house into a refuse bucket. Still considered a dealer. That's what I'm saying here. And it's different than everywhere else because your dealer have more rights. But there is a machlek. Like because of Kedil? I mean, no, dealer have more rights. And at the time, there was no hezek. And since at the time, there was no hezek, therefore, I was able to build a refuse over there. And and, and once you, But all other cases, not dealer, regular cases, uh, let's say, um, yeah, according to Bayer, yeah, so according to Bayer, that there's no the nizik is not there. Yeah. I can go to the wall. What happens later? The nizik decides to put whatever you want to put it. Do that. Do then I have to remove it, or once I'm already there with permission, I can remain. That's a machlek of the shame. The Russian others. Yes, the is only smell, isn't it? Stench. Stench. Yeah. It's not damage like that. But a, if I want to use a warehouse for no, no, you use it for wheat. We'll see later. We're not talking about purely to wood. For wheat, and it'll but ruin your wheat. It's only where there is damage, not just smell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's no, that that's a damage. The yeah. damage is the smell. Yeah. In this case. Now, very interesting question. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, by, uh, by asked the question. He bid the ribbits, the guy upstairs started preparing his upstairs for to build uh, to put his warehouse, but he hasn't done it yet. You said that you that if he wasn't there yet and you put the refers in first, you're allowed to it's my chlegi showing you what means, but the if he did it or even the chatzil, you go ahead and build the refers. But I started preparing my upstairs by sweeping and cleaning. Is that considered as if it's already considered an oitzah you do it or not? Mao. Okay, and if you can tell me the fact is cleaning doesn't really necessarily prove you can have an oitzah, you can do anything with cleaning. So what about the riba v'chalainus? In the wall itself, it's much more than just cleaning. He made a lot of uh, cavities in the wall because if they have two in there, you don't want it to rock. Yeah, you need air, yeah. Mao. And if you're going to say that's still not enough. What about aksadla? 
Now, we're not, according to Rashi, we're not going to use the words of Tzad and it's a Mao. And whoever is good, this is not good. It's the next three words. Bona Ali Agabe Basic. They had the guy was downstairs, then his one upstairs, and then he built a third floor. And the third floor was going to be for um for what do you call it? For uh for warehousing. But he actually built something much more than just he he left out, you know, the cabinet, he left out, you know, parts of the wall. He built something. Is that considered um as if it's an oats already and you cannot do anything? Take room. Why don't we remember sure? Comedy dates in the morning. Okay, we know that tour. What happens? He started putting dates. He's he already started using to warehousing fruits, but he didn't yet put in the tour of the grains. But because he it's a step closer. So we say it's as if it's an oitzer already, as far as uh, the reference is concerned, he had no right to build the deficit. And we say, no, the fact that he had no tour there, and my animals don't in any way affect tour, you just wash them, uh, pay this, you just wash them. So therefore, it's like as if there's an oitzer there. Take who also take who. Because it actually improves it. So that's what Tracy says. It's, it's heat, heat improves it. But if it doesn't work, because it's actually that stench. It makes it go off. I'm going to be a done. Our wine is so weak. This is a I feel a kutra de shraga. Nami kashle. That's interesting because the Rabbah, who's a Talmud, always talks about, you know, how you dilute wine if it's one and two, one and three. And uh, we talk about how the wine then was so much stronger than wine today. And Abiyasif, who lived right before Rabbah, at the same time Rabbah, said that their wine was so weak compared to the wine before. And the Mishnah talks about, you know, that uh, fire is good for it, but our wine, even a candlelight, like Kondarashi means the smoke. In fact, the Gemara's word is Kutra de Shraga. The smoke of a candlelight can ruin the whole wine. According to Rabbein Tam, it means the heat. Now, whether he's good is the word Kutra, and maybe he's not even good as the word Kutra, smoke. Also bad for it. You have this kind of uh, um, grass that's growing called a safsata that doesn't grow full to full maturity. It's what you feed animals, the animal fodder. That is like Rebbe gives a terrible stench and therefore you shouldn't have it um, downstairs. Mishnah. The laws of competition have come up in the next blot or so, which is actually source of a lot of laws of competition between here and in Kedushin where you have only Hamhafi Becharola. Mishnah. Chonus a store inside a courtyard. People in that courtyard can stop you from opening a store. We can't sleep. We can't sleep. All that noise, people coming in, people coming out. I will, um, that there's, there's some of the Shane want to say that I have another that because it says, why, what, 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 what about the lesson? Just say, simple. You can't open like all other ones that don't do this, don't do that. So he wants to say the Kiddush here is that even if you already had a store, you had a Chanush of you already had an existing store, but the people said, enough. Or your store suddenly became very successful and you have so many more people coming in, they can stop them. You don't say, oh, you have a Chazaka. Certain things that we'll see that from testing, there's no Chazakas because, you know, the basic Kisei, because certain things we just, we thought we could tolerate, we can't tolerate anymore. <laughs> and, but, um, I will always say Kalim, you're allowed to build Kalim in your own house, in your, in your shed over there. You have the man's tools and you stand in and you knock and you cop. And then you take it outside and you sell it in the market. People can say, hey, you're making noise. We can't sleep. Now, all my folks are trying to understand what's the difference? If you tell me a store I can't have because of the noise of the people, yet I can make noise with a hammer, which might even be louder than people just walking in and out. You know how much noise do they make? But this is banging, and I can't stop you. So some of the want to say the chilek is that you're bringing in people from outside the chutz. They have no rights in this chutz, so therefore you, we can stop you. In your house, you can do whatever you want, so therefore we can't. Others want to say, when well, the problem of bringing people, influx of people, not the noise, even though it says curl, it's the fact that you're making it crowded in the street here. And because it's crowded in the street, that's what bothers us. But if you're, the noise itself is not a problem. So you can make it in your house. But then he adds one more thing here. So people cannot complain about the noise of the hammer, the noise of the mill, nor the noise of the children. Now that's going to bother the Gemara. You know, children mean people coming in. You just said a minute ago, we can stop you. So the Gemara, what's the difference between the Reish and the Seifer? And the Reish says, we can stop you from bringing people in. And then it says, we can't stop you. But Abaya, so Abaya wants to say, say for us in the Chatzah I can stop you if, you know, um, the people from your own Chatzah can stop you from opening a store. The safe is talking about the people in the next Chatzah trying to stop you. They have no rights in your Chatzah. They can't, they can't say, oh, they make too much noise or you bring too many people into this whole area. That they cannot do. That's Abaya. I'm like, Ravi, at least the Chatzah Chedis is Say, Pashat, that the Chatzah Chedis is Mutter. They can't complain. 
And you know, people in this chutzah cannot complain about what goes on in another chutzah. And Lama Rabbah says, Rabbah, no, we're talking about in your chutzah. So what are these tenaikas? Say for us, the tenaikas should be We're talking about students and yeshiva. Umetakonas Yeshua ben Gamla Be'elah. From when Yeshua ben Gamla made takona, that it was soon learn about. To learn about tomorrow, that every single region has to have a school, and there's a mitzvah, and you have to have schools. Then you cannot stop someone opening a school inside your courtyard because that's a mitzvah. Big machlekes. If this applies only to the mitzvah of chinuch or to any mitzvah, if I want to open a safras uh, thing over here, I want to do any other mitzvah here. I want people to come in and, and tie tzitzis. Hey, can can you stop me because um, you can bring all these people in, or because it's a mitzvah? For a mitzvah, you cannot stop people. Others want to say it's dafke chinuch because chinuch is such a it's incumbent on every single person that's so and so important. And since you can do somewhere else, what you have to do, do dafke in this particular chutzah, people don't like to go somewhere else. Um, my shenke and my students, if the teacher lives here, if, if you can tell me go somewhere else, I'm not going to go. I'm not interested. And we want to entice teachers to who can teach to teach, as we'll learn tomorrow. Uh, or not. Now, quickly, the Shushu ben Gamla, um, we, we had a Yuma, Yuma that he was that his wife, who he married a very rich woman, Martha Belbices, and she gave money to Yana and Melo to make him a Kohen Godwin. He's one of the examples of corruption, even though we say he wasn't so bad, but we use a Pussy that he, there was a bad thing. And here we're saying, as we'll soon see, that he was a Zeich and Tzadik Racha, he was unbelievable. So there's different answers. One answer he did, Shuba, but Tesis, that's Tesis there, but Tesis here says that. He, he was worthy. He was a tzaddik. He was worthy. He's a tzaddik gomer, but there were people better than him. So Paskin want to learn from here. A very interesting thing. That if there was nobody better than him, you're allowed to buy your position of becoming a rogue. The only reason why they denigrated him is because there were people better than him. And even though he was deserving, he was not as deserving as others. So the money swayed the, the, the judges. But if, if there, anyway they would have chosen him because this was the best person for the job, there's nothing wrong with giving gifts to everybody to entice them because it's not considered a bribe. Interesting. Others say never. Money should never be part of the play. Okay, tomorrow, Mitzvah